Now, for many people over the Christmas period, they would have been glued to their televisions for the PDC World Darts Championship. And for Norwich, we're quite fortunate that we had a number of players involved, the likes of Stephen Bunting, Steve Beaton and Darren Webster. Now, Darren Webster caught the imagination of, of many as he made it to the third round when he got knocked out by Michael Van Gogh. And I'm delighted to say that the demolition man joins me on the phone right now. Darren, now that you've had a, a chance to kind of react and, and sit back after your, your championships, how, how are you feeling about that? Yeah, very good. You know, very good. Very positive. Um, I've had a lot of positive feedback and everything else, and I feel good in myself. And I think that's a good start now for 2017. Now, your match against Van Gogh was... Well, you, you lost to the eventual winner, um, who was producing some, I think, of... I think most people would say some of the best darts ever seen on television. Is that how it felt at the time that you, you, you lost to, to someone who, quite frankly, was perhaps unbeatable or unplayable at the time? No, 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 not at all. Actually, actually, I was a little bit disappointed because when I looked, I actually outscored him. And um, in the first set, I missed two darts at a double. And the last set, I missed three clear at a double, which I could have been 3-2 up. Um, so, you know, now my performance is there. And I've got a lot more better. I'm still practicing a lot better on a practice board, so I still think there's, you know, more to come. But obviously, as Mike will get further in a tournament, he get better and better, as he did against um, Raymond. You know, he 114 average to 109 is phenomenal. Yes, I think your your average when you, you lost one game was about 105. Is that the best you've ever played and, and not won a game in terms of your average, at least? Um, no, no. I mean, on tour, I've lost with 110 averages. <laughs> but um, yeah, obviously on TV, I mean. This was my best. Obviously, I'm getting better. And um, I had 104.64 against um, Simon Whitlock, which is my best ever on TV. Um, I had nearly a tournament average of 100, which I've never done before. So, yeah, I'm really chuffed. I'm improving all the time. Your first round match against Stephen Bunting, you, you very nearly didn't make it through that. He, he had a number of opportunities to, to, to finish, finish you off, but some fantastic finishing. I think there was a, a 150, a 147 and a 140. Um, it, it's all about kind of getting the finishes at the right times, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Like you say, it's all about the time. That's them, that's them sets when they go 2-2 two, two and you get a chance, whether it's one dart or three dart, you have to take it. And that, that's, that's what we call timing. <laughs> And your, your match against Simon Whitlock, I was actually uh, across the, the road in the pub watching it. And in terms of when I've watched you play, that is the best I've, I've ever seen you play. And how do you kind of look to, to build upon that? Because you are now well within the, the kind of the reaches of being one of the best darts players in the world. But it's, it's now kind of the finer margins, isn't it? Yeah, de definitely the finer margins. It takes a long while, you know, to control yourself and get used to the TV and... Um, you know, how how sometimes it's structured, you, you know, it's really difficult to qualify for them. And then when you do actually get up there, it could be a few months before you actually play. Um, but obviously now I've had quite a few um, experiences on there in the last couple of months. And I'm actually starting to now bring what I call playing me floor game up on the stage. Because simply because I'm starting to learn to, you know, control myself and feel, you know, feel comfortable up there. Yeah, how, how hard was that to uh, adapt? Because I presume when you first started playing darts and um, competitions, there wasn't 10,000 people or, or however many at Alexandra Palace um, going kind of crazy and, and screaming your name. How on earth do you concentrate for, for a sport that requires such concentration and, and such, you know, you, you can't afford any, any mistakes, frankly? No, no, I mean, when, when I first used to get up on the tally, and I mean, a lot of me tell this, all you're worried about is not make yourself look silly. <laughs> You know what I mean? But I think the more you do it, the less you think of that, and then you more than you become a dart player. You then start concentrating. Um, I actually really enjoy it now when I go. I can't wait to go up there, and I feel so relaxed up there. Um, you know, and I think that's the difference. It's just feeling relaxed and playing. You know, I look at, I don't even look like there's anyone on a dartboard when I'm playing. Now I just go up there, and that's me throwing at the board. I don't care who's up there, whether it's Michael Van Gogh and all that was me. You know, 13-year-old daughter, I just treat it all the same now. Just look at that board, focus, and throw my darts. And I think that's the difference. And just very quickly, Dan, before we let you go, how exciting is it to be a part of darts at the moment? Because, it, you know, the sport has never been more popular, has it? Yeah, no, no. And it's getting bigger and bigger and bigger. You know, Barry Earns got his heart set on making it a £20 million pound tour now. He did, you know, originally he was going to make it 10, but he said he's got there easy. He's now making it 20. Well, you know, that's, that's exciting times. And, you know, for myself, I feel you know, great that I'm, I'm thrown with the ability to actually be able to participate in, in this great sport we've got now. OK, Darren, we're going to have to let you go, but thank you so much uh, for the entertainment you've given us over Christmas and uh, we certainly look forward to seeing more of you on our TV screens very soon.